Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to show you how we can use Rike. Rike is an amazing project management tool and I believe after watching this video you will know exactly how to use it. If you're gonna have any questions just ask down below in the comments and if I know the answer I'll be really happy to help you. So without further ado, let's start. In the first part I'm going to show you how Rike works. The first thing when you're gonna enter Rike you're gonna see spaces. So this is like personal projects with faces or your team. When you're going to click on a spaces, like let's say I have a personal space right now, in those you're going to see folders with projects. And what you can do is to simply add a project, a folder, so you can create a folder and in those, in that folder you can create project or you can just simply uh, create a project. And now when you're going to create a project, you have option to choose a default view that you can change list, board, table or gun chart. So I can create, let's say board, let's press project name and I'm going to write here um, my dinner and I have a board here, create. And voila, this is how you can do it. But when you're gonna create a project, you can simply switch between list, board and other. So that's what you can do or you can even add more views here if you want to. So this is how it works. So again, when I'm going to home button, you're going to have a space like personal project team. When you're going to click on a project, it's uh, when you're going to press on a team or like, let's say whatever space you have, it's always the, the structure is going to be always same. Then you're going to have a pro projects and folders here. So this is how it works. And this is how the whole structure of Rike works. In this part, I'm going to show you how we can use inbox. So when you're going to be in Rike, you can go to the top left and click on an inbox here. And then you would see uh, the send, archive or incoming. So you would see all your messages right here from your team members. And then you can simply click home and you're at home. On the right side, when you would come, you have option to uh, see my to do. These are the tasks that you need to be done. And as you can see, uh, I'm in a personal and in my to-do list. Then you have created by me. In created by me, you would see all your tasks or projects or folders that you created. You, what you can do is to simply add a new if you want to. And as you can see, I'm again in a personal space. Then when we go further, we see start tasks. When I'm going to click on it, these are that I start. So when I'm going to have a task, I can simply mm, start it and then I would see it right there. As you can see, so this is how it works. Then further, we have calendars. Next, next, next. And we can simply create a new calendar. My new calendar. And you can simply switch the space based on which it's going to uh, get data from. And then in the calendar, let's create a layer. And now you have option to add a name for a layer and you can smart based on tasks, uh, smart based on projects or classic. Let's say I'm going to with a classic and I'm going to new layer, click save. And voila, here we have it. And what I can do is to simply add a tasks to my calendar. This is really simple and intuitive how we can do it. So this is my new task, task location. Uh, let's say this is going to be personal or your project, or these are the folders that you have. So let's say I'm going to my dinner and what I'm, hmm going to store and I can change the layer if you want to click create and voila here you got it so this is how you can work with the calendar in Rike which is pretty simple and intuitive then you can simply go to the right and switch between week quarter year and that's how you can do it now when we go further what you can do is to then click dashboard in a dashboard uh, you can first switch between spaces on the top left between personal 
my team or project with basis. And then let's say I'm going to click my team. What you can do is when you're going to see uh, your tasks here, you can simply move them in progress, complete. This works really similar to Trello. That is, you have this kind of Kanban style and how you can actually edit uh, your tasks in your uh, Kanban style board. Just click on it. And here uh, you can simply change everything and edit. If it's in progress, you can edit that. You can add a signee, set that approval. We will get to it how we can work actually with a tasks, but this is how you can work with it and how you can do it. Then what you can do is go to top right and click new widget. And now in your dashboard, you can add projects, widget files, task by status. So you can actually edit your dashboard. And I don't know, let's say my overdue tasks and voila, here I, here I have it. So you can add what kind of widget you want, or you can create your own custom ones. So this is how widget works and how the whole dashboard works. In home, then you can go to reports and reports. Um, this is also really straightforward and simple. You can click active tasks by assignee, weekly project status, overdue tasks by assignee, projects due this month, unassigned task or time spent this week. So I can click here, active tasks by assignee, select project. So I'm going to, let's say, click project with faces. And then you can also add a new project. It's really up to you. Click create. And voila, here we have it. So this is my title, status, due date, project and folder. And see i have the report here what you can do also is to create your your report by yourself so you just add report title project and based on you simply choose a project and then you have a filtering here so you can choose between if it's a start date any date approvals so you choose what you want to filter what you want to actually catch and what you want to have in your report this it really depends what you want there so let's say that i want to have only tasks and subtasks with the start date today or like any date due date this month right and layout i can have it as a table or column and then i will just uh, click here for project with spaces so tasks and subtasks with start date at any date and due date this month let's create a report and voila, as you can see, we got report of everything that's going to end in the end of the March. So that's pretty good, right? And this is how we can work with it and how we can actually work with reports. Then you have a stream here. Stream, uh, you're going to see things that are going to share with you and you're going to see everything you follow. So that's how it works. This is pretty straightforward too. And then you can bottom right recycle bin and blueprints. And in blueprints, you can add a new title permalink. And you see right here, here. So this is how it pretty much works. Let's create a space now. Creating spaces in Rike is really simple. All you have to do is go to top right on a plus and then click space. When you're going to do it, all you have to do is just write a space name. I'm going to name it YouTube channel. And then you have options to create a private space or public space. When you're going to have it private, this space can only be joined through invite uh, from the admin or public, anyone in your workspace can view and join this space. What you can do also is to change the icon. And then you can simply add uh, members. So I can come here and write a email. 
and then invite to break 49 seats available and now you have option to choose it as a regular user external user or collaborators regular user can use all features and view the contract contacts of all people in the account external user can all use all features but can only view the contacts of the people with whom they share folders and tasks and collaborators can view and complete tasks add comments and attach files but can only view the contacts of the people with whom they share folders and tasks so we have options which i'm going to choose i'm going to choose the regular user here invite okay and this is how we do it so let's click create and here we are what you can do when you're going to enter your workspace is to simply invite more members so what you can do is to simply click here again on a view member list and you can click invite or edit members and then again write it here so you have options to invite while you are creating your own new space or you can simply invite members directly in your space the next thing that i'm going to show you is how you can create a folder and project so you're going to click on add project here on those on this plus next to the three dots and now let's click create folder first and folder name is going to be youtube channels or youtube videos right and this is going to be our, our list and then you can share it with other people and you can add more people here location is going to be youtube channel that's our space let's click create and when we have it uh, we have our own folder what i can do is to simply add a project and i'm going to change the location here so we see that we have youtube channel space but i want to have the project in my youtube videos so i'm going to have my project in the folder youtube videos project name is going to be youtube yoga and now it's going to be as a project and start date let's say that this is going to be from 18 to end of july you can also add more project owners you can also share it and you can choose the default view here so you have option to actually choose between list board table and gun chart i'm going to uh, leave it as list and then i will switch it to another and let's click create here and voila here we are so we have a youtube yoga and now how we can actually add a task so first thing i'm going to do i'll just close the panel here so i have everything clear and what i can do is to add a task project folder and click here add new enter title so, so let's say the task is going to be youtube script and voila here we have it i'm going to click on it and now we have option to choose the default workflow if you're gonna have more workflows you can add it here and now you can have a new so let's say this is going to be uh, in progress you can add a sign in so i'm going to add myself or i can add uh, the one that i invited to my team then you can set date also when it's going to happen it's going to happen today uh, you can also change the duration and everything Opa. then you have approvals here uh, where you can like start a new approval if you want to uh, you're gonna have a timer here so how much time you're actually gonna spend on your task you can simply add a subtask so let's say for the youtube script what i need to do is i need to <laughs> share ideas and write script meaning of script then you can simply also add attachments and files you can add dependencies and you can make it private now you're gonna have oh you can also add a description here and then you see the day what was actually happening with the task then on the top right you can start you can remove from my to-do you can follow unfollow the task you can copy the permalink or 
what you can do is to simply delete it, open a new tab or enter full screen. So this is how you can simply add a task. What you can do is to add more views here. So I'm going to click add view and you can simply add a board. Then I'm going to add also, a, let's say table. And I'm going to add a gun chart too. I will add literally everything and I will show you how you can use a time log. And you're going to have like analytics and literally everything. So I have a board here. And now this is like a Kanban board. And as you can see, uh, you have options to simply add a new task here. New task, let's say YouTube video, record video. And I can simply move it where I want to move it, right? Completed or in progress or on hold, canceled, or we can add more. So this is how the Kanban board works. Then you're going to see table here. In table is really straightforward. So what you can do, you can go to top right and add more columns like ID, offer, status group, importance, create date, complete date, time spent, progress or predecessors. So I can add importance and I can change the importal if it's like importance, if it's high, normal, low, or I can simply again click plus here and add a progress. and also see the progress of uh, the task. Now again, same style with the board and list, you can click add new. This is, a, let's say, the video description. And you can add a new uh, task right here, right? You can see it right here. And this is how you can do it. So under my uh, project YouTube Yoga, I see video description as a task. Then what you can do again, go to Gantt chart. In Gantt chart, you will be able to see uh, how much time is going to take. So I'm going to just zoom in with control and scrolling and I can increase the time. And as you can see, the first, the above line is my project timeline. And then we have a task timeline. Then I have a video description here. And if I'm going to change the start date, I can end it to 26. And as you can see, the video description are changed. So this is how you can use the gun chart and how you can work with it. Then you have a time log here in time log. I'm going to quit this one here. I can add an entry. And then I can see it right here in my time log. So as you can see, I spent one hour and 19 minutes in my time log. And that's pretty straightforward and pretty easy, right? So uh, this is how the time log works. And then you have analytics. Uh, and analytics, you can see the chart, the work progress, tasked by users, baseline. Baseline chart, work progress, pretty straightforward. It's like these things are really simple to understand. So you see that like the time span is one hour. Then in the analytics, I can see um, the, the statistics. And then I can go again, click plus and have a stream files in which I'm, when I'm going to upload files, I can find directly in my project. I can click here stream. And in this part, you're going to see like the things that are happening. They were done in the project. And then what you can do, create a custom view because I used all the views. So this is pretty much it, how it works and how we can work with a Rike. If you have any questions, guys, ask me down below in the comments. I'll really happy to help you. Rike is an amazing project management tool and really simple to use. I really think that and I really believe in that. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, you can support and subscribe. If you have any questions, ask me down below in the comments and have a great day and goodbye. See ya.